people are always gonna be hate hating people <laughs> Good, I'm getting you guys. It's me, Hilia Hilia Ikuyu, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, guys. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to be successful on YouTube channel, how to start your channel, how to grow your brand, how to do the shebang bang, how to join the social media trend. You know what it is. But before we get into the video, please give this video a massive thumbs up because you know you're gonna like the content, and obviously, subscribe to my channel because. Why are you watching my content if you're not subscribed to my channel? It's free. It don't cost a thing. So you might as well just subscribe because you know you're going to be back next week watching my video again. So do yourself a favor and subscribe to my channel. So I've decided to start this series on my channel of how to start a YouTube channel, how to make money on social media, how to grow your brand, how to do all the yeri yeri things that you need to know, how to make a rate card, a social media card, and all those things that you need to make the sh money on social media. Um, this is going to be a three-part, four-part series video, I think, which is going to consist of, this is video number one, how to start a YouTube channel, how to be successful. Number two is how to work with brands. Um, and how to make money on YouTube channel which will consist of your media kit which you do need and a rate card which is how much you charge um, people for the services you give and then the third one will be focused on editing how to edit videos what apps I use to edit my videos the equipment I use to edit my videos and those types of things and then the fourth one will be a Q&A um, where you guys get to ask me questions that you have or maybe things that I didn't address in the videos but yeah I'm really really excited about this video because not a lot of people in the social media industry talk about um, how they make money on YouTube channels or how they started or how they make money on Instagram and I feel like it's only fair to share the information because there's always room for every single one of us to succeed um, there's no point in being selfish or whatever because you know everyone can grow and succeed together So yeah, let's just get into the video. So my first tip is You need to know why you're starting a YouTube channel Anyone and anyone can start a YouTube channel, but why are you starting a YouTube channel? Are you starting a YouTube channel because you want to be a YouTuber? Are you starting a YouTube channel because um, you saw A, B, and C starting a YouTube channel and now you feel left out and you want to start a YouTube channel? Or are you starting a YouTube channel because you genuinely love creating content and love making videos and people want to learn from you? You need to find your purpose. So why are you starting a YouTube channel? I feel like that's very, very important because that shapes your commitment and your dedication to your youtube channel because if you're doing it for the sake of just doing it then i don't really think that it is going to be successful so you need to know why you're starting a youtube channel you need to have a reason as to why you know you're starting the channel that you're starting which brings me to point number two and that is just start start guys i know that when i was starting my channel i was worried about not having a camera is my sound gonna be okay is my quality gonna be okay are people gonna like me you know like there were all these things that were going on in my head and i'm an overthinker so i overthink and i overthink and i tell myself nah i can't do this i can't do this but i'm telling you right now to just start honestly starting where you are right now if you know what you want to do then just start social media is a growing trend in namibia and if you want to get on that you need to hop on it right now like right now is the time to start people are gonna hate and people are gonna love they're always gonna be people that support you be it your friends your family members your whatever and then there are always people that are gonna hate you and dislike your videos that's fine that's normal but how will you know that you're not gonna succeed if you don't start you need to start the thing to start the process to succeeding you know what i mean like just start guys start your channel if you want to start you don't want to find yourself years from now or six months um, from today thinking oh fuck I should have started my channel today or six months ago and I just didn't start it I could have had this many many subscribers or I could have done X Y and Z but I was too scared to start so I just recommend that you start your channel if you're thinking about starting a channel the third point I have for you guys is identify your target market by identify your target market I mean what are you going to be doing for me mainly I do um, lifestyle 
travel fashion and hair that's my brand um for other people they do makeup that's them in beauty other people are gamers they do games other people do reviews other people do reaction videos so that's what i mean by target market what do you want to specifically do with your channel if i were to mention your name and say that oh salma is a youtuber what does salma do i need to be able to identify what you do salma is a beauty youtuber or a natural hair enthusiast or whatever and i'm not saying that you identify a market and focus on that market completely you can branch out of your market here and there um but the main main focus of your channel should be you know what your market is and what you think that you're an influencer in i know that some people have cooking channels some people have sports channels some people have reviews there's so many things that you can do on youtube honestly so it's that thing of finding what you are passionate about and what you want to teach people about that's the thing that you need to find so identify your target market the fourth thing that i would say is be consistent be consistent guys be consistent this is something that namibian youtubers do not have it is consistency i always come across namibian youtubers that have great videos and then i watch the video because it's in my recommended videos i'm like oh wow i really like her personality or i really like her vibe and i click on the channel and there's literally no video for four or five months like where are the videos sis why are you on youtube if you're not posting videos you lose out on subscribers you lose out on people that are checking up on your channel because they don't believe that you're going to be posting videos people like um consistency people like having a schedule or that thing at the back of someone's head saying that oh no hilia's going to be dropping a video on saturday or oh no hilia drops a video every saturday so they have something to look forward to and they know that on saturday if they go to the channel they will find a video on the channel do you know what i mean you i i hate hate it when i go on someone's channel and there's like no video for a month or two months or three months and then they always come back hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone for a while since you've been gone for a year what do you mean you've been gone for a while you've been gone for a year and it's not cute people forget about you people forget that you do youtube um youtube doesn't pick up your algorithm youtube won't recommend your videos to people so be consistent have a schedule where you post you say that i'm going to try and post every sunday at x y and z time or i'm gonna try and post every two weeks because i can't afford posting every week have a schedule that is so consistent that people know and at the back of their heads they're constantly thinking oh my god julia is gonna drop a video now on wednesday or julia is gonna drop a video every two weeks or whatever my fifth tip is have a clean background or an aesthetically pleasing background i like like a plain neutral background i like neutral color so i like a clean a clean background like as you can see this is white it's clean there's nothing in the back nothing's distracting my mother is not walking at the back of my video as i film my video there's no bed in the back there's no kitchen i can't see the house in the back it's just me and the clean background i know that for beauty youtubers they sometimes have like their makeup products um in the background but it's so organized in such a way that's so pleasing to look at if you want to have a flower or two in your video that's fine but organize it so it looks nice people like aesthetics people like you know focusing on the person that's talking because now if you're filming a video and you're in the kitchen i'm looking behind looking at oh shit there's a microwave oh no sis there's whatever in the background or, oh no was that a cat oh no was that a dragon in the background you know what i mean like i just like a clean background where it's neutral everything's like vibing and it just makes the video honestly look so much neater and so much more nicer to watch because nothing is distracting you you're looking at the person that's i'm um, delivering the content and you're like wow i actually am learning something from you the sixth tip that i have is um in terms of sound and camera quality when i started out my channel i had an iphone 6 um that's what i used to vlog that's what i used to um film my videos um and it was fine you know um i could record with my phone and the sound was amazing if you have any sort of smartphone honestly start don't have this mentality of i need to start with a camera no you don't need to start with a camera people are honestly gonna appreciate your growth if you start from whatever it is that you have now even youtubers like big youtubers they're constantly evolving and constantly improving constantly buying cameras that are better 
you know and delivering better content over time so i started with my iphone 6 i went on to an iphone 8 and then i finally bought a camera for myself what i did do however when i was filming with phones is that i really tried to use a clean background um and i tried to really focus on me the person that was speaking i also spoke very loud like i would scream as i was speaking because i wanted the ca the sound quality to be amazing so you do what you have to do if you don't have lights you shoot in the morning when the sun's out or in the afternoon when the sun is out you don't want to shoot when it's too dark or whatever you find a nice little corner in the house in your room in the sitting room or wherever and you make that your filming spot and you make sure that when the sun's out you shoot your video because with sunlight it just makes the video so much better there's much better quality it looks clean you look clean everyone looks clean everyone likes clean things you know what i mean so yeah just start with whatever phone you have if you have a smartphone that can record and that you can hear your cell phone then bruh you're good to start your channel just do it just start just start and grow from where you are people are honestly going to appreciate the growth the seventh thing is be yourself honestly just be yourself if you're loud and you're a liker of things and you make a lot of noise like me then just be yourself people are gonna like you for who you are if you're quiet and more reserved that's also fine you know if you're an extrovert an introvert or whatever just be yourself don't try and be someone that you're not because honestly it's so hard to hide emotions on youtube especially when people watch your videos they can sort of pick up your energy and they can see that oh no she's not doing okay today or she doesn't look well today or something in her voice doesn't seem fine so people really pick up these things easily on youtube it's not like instagram where you can fake a smile and you can fake a pose for a minute or two and post your picture and everyone thinks that you're fine no on youtube it's about people can really see through you if you're forcing an accent fam people can see that you're forcing an accent if you're doing x y and z i can assure you that people know that you're doing x y and z so it's better to just be yourself love yourself be yourself be confident. If you're goofy, then do that. Do funny videos. If you dance, then do that. You know, if you snort while you laugh, then do that. Honestly, just being yourself is so liberating and free. You don't want to get to a point where you're filming a video and you're like, oh my God, I need to put this mask on now or whatever. Like, you don't want to be that person. You don't want to get to that point. So, yeah, just be yourself. That was tip number seven. Number eight is network and ask for help honestly when i started a youtube channel i look for namibian youtubers and at that point the only namibian youtubers that i knew of was the namibian crazy head girl um cassie j jessica but she wasn't like a consistent poster on youtube she was more focused on her instagram or whatever and then the family planet michaels i dm'd namibian crazy hair girl and i asked her for you know tips on how to do certain things how she films how she does what we made up we did a collab or whatever it's honestly so much easier to network when you network you have support you know people that can tell you what you're doing people that can tell you what you're doing wrong or you know people that can just help correct you people that will tell you that oh no there's this feature on youtube that you might not even know about just meeting up with other youtubers and talking about your experiences how it went for them how x y and z went that's really really important when starting a youtube channel if you want to get a mentor then get a mentor if you're starting a channel and you feel overwhelmed or you don't know what to do or you know just something isn't sitting right then you know you can always dm me and i can you know give you my point of view or my experience because we learn from each other's mistakes and we learn from each other's successes and we can all succeed together and also do collaborations because sometimes um youtubers have been in the game longer and obviously they have more subscribers than you so if i do a collab with um x y and z then their subscribers see that you're a namibian youtuber you're also there and then they can go onto your channel and watch your content however i'm not just saying that ask everyone for a collab i'm saying that if you look at someone's channel and you really think that you can vibe with this person and you have something in common then do it you know ask them for me if you like fashion and i like fashion then we can do that we can vibe on my channel or you know if you like beauty i like beauty i don't do beauty on my channel but i like beauty we can find something in common and deliver great quality content however if you're like a gamer or a fitness person like that doesn't fit with my brand like i can't 
help you you know deliver content that's not right for my brand you know what i mean so don't just collab with anyone have collabs that make sense that is actually what i want to say because sometimes you find oh no she's a beauty youtuber but she's doing some random thing and you're like how does this associate with your brand you know like think about your life you know what i mean the ninth tip i have is be interactive really comment on people's channels and i'm not saying comment like i'm a small youtuber by the way please check out my channel no don't do that i don't appreciate or like people that do that more so of you know doing something like watching my video and be like oh my god Hilia, i really love your channel so much or i love your video so much i did something similar like this on my channel that's fine like plug yourself but plug yourself in a constructive way in a smart way where people don't even realize that you're you're plugging yourself or you know be like oh my god i've always wanted to try this out for my channel when people are commenting and reading in the comment section down below they notice your comments and they click on your profile and boom they see your videos and you've gained yourself a subscriber or two so yeah be interactive comment on people's things be it on instagram on youtube or whatever comment on people's posts that's how people see you as a person and that's how people discover you support each other on youtube you know um other youtubers the namibian youtube community is quite small so you know support each other watch each other's videos improve each other's videos you know sometimes it takes dming someone to say um girl i really don't think your sound was the best maybe you want to do something different for the next time you know do that be interactive um help each other out and seek mentorship or whatever and then the last and final tip is to write down your goals i really believe in writing down things um if i don't write it down i don't remember it that's my motto in life so write down your goals set out your goals now and say okay six months from now i want to be at 500 subscribers how am i going to get to those 500 subscribers what am i going to do to get to that goal or three months from now i want to work with this brand how do i work with this brand how am i going to make it happen or you know five months from now i want the camera how am i going to save up for it how am i going to come up with a plan that's going to help me achieve the dreams and the goals that i've set out for myself i really think that writing down your goals is so important not just on youtube but in life in general just you know um telling the universe what you want and what you like i feel like that's such a powerful thing to have in life so i use it in life i use it in youtube i use it in just my life which i said already i don't know how many times i've said life but you get it you get it um so yeah i think that's that on that from me <laughs> if you like my video please give it a massive thumbs up i know that it might have been over the place because i speak too much and i speak really quick but it is what it is <laughs> uh, i hope that you learned a thing or two from this video if you did please comment down below what your favorite tip was and if you are a maybe a youtuber then please comment down below tips and tricks that can help new and upcoming like maybe in youtubers to succeed on youtube you never know who you might help you never know who might need your help so yeah let's do that let's all grow together let's all succeed together there's room for every single one of us in the industry to succeed but other than that i will see you guys in the next series which will be focusing on how to work with brands how to make money on youtube um how to make a social media kit and a rate card and yeah don't forget to subscribe because it's free and it don't cost you a thing. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.